check. I've got enough room. Good morning, everybody. I am just checking to see that you can see everything. This is our first live performance. It's a Friday morning. I got Billy Tag, but you won't see him because he's quite shy of the, of the, of the uh, camera. We've got Sam Tag, but he's totally asleep on the bed at the moment. So we've got another couple of minutes till we get started. Um, the exercises we've got today don't need any equipment. Um, there's a nice mix of some aerobic work and some strength work. Uh, was particularly in to add a bit of strength work and a nice bit of flexibility at the end as well. So I hope you're all keeping well. I'm not exactly sure because I'm technically not very sound um, who's watching and who's not. But welcome to those of you who've just joined us. I promised Matt and Josie, a special shout out. I think we've got a couple of Janets and I think we've got Steve and Winford, although I had to uh, uh, remove myself from their chat last night. Too intellectual. All right. So we're going to get ready. We're going to make sure that you've got a nice space around you. So we'll all have some different spaces at home. All right, mine's a little bit cramped, but I've got enough space that I can take my feet out to the side and take, take my arms out to the side. What I'm hoping that you do have at some point is a wall or something secure that we can do some wall presses against. So you may have to adapt a little bit, you may not have to adapt. So don't worry if there's anything you can't do or there's an exercise that doesn't feel right, okay? Because we can, we can work it for you. All right, so 9.30 is coming up. So when 9.30 starts, we're gonna get our warm up going and brilliant. Okay, I'm looking at my watch. We've got 20 seconds. This is quite nerve wracking for someone who's not technologically very sound. Just want you to know this. It was all right doing the recorded videos, but this is something different. Okay, so if we are feeling well, uh, if we're feeling um, good, I'm really happy for you to be doing this. If you're not feeling tip top today, I would like you just to maybe watch this, have a look at what we're doing, maybe join in some of the warm up exercises, but please don't take part if you're not feeling well. It's much better for you to rest and wait until you are feeling well, and we can make sure this is available to you uh, to do at a different time. All right, everybody, it is 9.30. Good morning. Welcome to those of you who've just joined us. We're in Tag Towers. We've been allowed the best space in the house because we're live. Normally I get thrown out into the garden and things like that. So I hope we're all coping with the current odd situation. Normally we'd be halfway through this class in Cardigan Leisure Centre, but we haven't got that available to us. So we're going to do it from the beauty of your own home. So we're going to start with our warm up. Now, Hopefully you have got some water available. The beauty of being at home is that if you get uh, fed up or thirsty, you can just go to the kitchen and get some. But if you have got some around, that'd be good. We're gonna start standing nice and tall. And if you're anything like me, okay, shoulders are feeling a little bit stiff because we've been doing things we don't normally do, i.e. hours of gardening. So we're gonna make sure we feel nice and secure. We're gonna lengthen through the spine. We're gonna open up that chest. Let's start with a little shoulder squeeze up. We're gonna relax those shoulders down. So we're gonna squeeze those shoulders up. But as we do this, we're gonna breathe in through the nose and we're gonna gently breathe out through the mouth as we lower those shoulders. So we're just squeezing up and we're relaxing those shoulders down. And good morning to those of you who are just joining us. We're starting our warm up with a little bit of mobility for the shoulders. We're gonna move those feet. So let's think about just lifting one foot at a time, nice and gently. If I bang my feet, you'll know about it, but she is, the screen will shake. So try and place those feet down gently. 
lessen the impact, and then we're going to take those feet hip width apart again. Let's just soften the knees slightly. Let's really lengthen through that spine. We're going to gently draw that tummy button in, and we're going to start warming up that lower back. So we're lifting that rib cage out of the hips, and we're just gently, gently taking that little side bend. Good. So this is all about that lower back, and we're just getting a little bit of movement. Try not to overreach at this point. And this is a brilliant one for you. If you've been doing lots in the garden, if you've been doing lots of DIY, I think most of us have been doing one or the other. So really nice way to get that lower back warmed up. And then we're gonna see if we can take these little taps behind us. So those of you that are used to coming to class will know what I'm gonna ask you to do here. Little squeeze of those bottom muscles, not overdoing it. Brilliant. You are looking beautiful, looking good, looking good. So we're not over-egging the custard. We're just gently, gently increasing that range of movement in the joints and just starting to get that heart rate, heart rate a little bit faster. Okay, let's bring these feet in. Let's see if we can do a little ankle warm up. So we're just gonna see if we can lift one heel at a time off the floor. Let's see if we can circle those wrists at the same time. Let's take them the other way. Brilliant. So we're just warming up lots of different joints. And then we're going to bring it down. Now, let's just see if we can move those feet again. Nice and relaxed in the shoulders. Take those feet about hip width apart again. This time we're going to take a little roll of these shoulders. So we were talking about how stiff a lot of us are in the shoulders. So this is just going to really help loosen you up. See if you can just breathe out as we relax those shoulders down. See if you can slide those shoulder blades down the back towards your bottom. Lovely. Let's take one more for luck. Okay, brilliant. We're going to soften those knees again. Let's see if we can warm up that mid part of the spine. And we're going to gently, gently twist away from centre. We're going to come back to centre. So we're just gently drawing that tummy button in away from the waistband of your trousers. And we're going to come back to centre. Good. So see if we can take that breath out as we move away from center, breath in to return. That's good, guys. Looking good. Again, we're not trying to overdo it. All right, let's bring it back, back to center. Let's see if we can take our little taps forwards now. So we'll push that big toe down towards the floor. We keep this really nice long spine. Superb, superb. See? if we can. Great. Now, we have got an unstable connection. Let's see if we can keep it going. Good. We're back. Sorry, I think you may have lost me for a minute. Let's see if we can take these little heel digs there. Okay. So, we're going to see if we can now just keep that long spine, place that heel on the floor, draw the toe up, and then we're gonna see if we can just gently lift those knees. So we're warming up those hips, warming up the knee joint a little bit, warming up the ankles, bring it down. Let's just take these taps out to the side. So we're just again warming those hips up. We can just start to bring a little bit of arm movement in. Good, that's it. Superb. And then we're going to see if we can just take that little tap behind us. I think I can hear someone shouting downstairs, Mum, you're live. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to bring it in. We're going to go back to those ankles, but this time we're going to see if we can take that little heel-toe action. Really useful movement. See if you can take that heel and that toe to the same spot on the carpet or the floor or the grass, wherever you are, brilliant. Okay, cooking on gas. And then we're gonna bring it in and we're gonna see if we can just squeeze these heels towards the bottom. See if we can keep those knees pointing down towards the floor. Just show you from this angle. We're just gently doing this. Watch that you don't throw that, uh, oh, wow, that hurts. <laughs> Watch you don't arch that back when we're doing this. And then we're gonna bring it in. Let's walk it out. 
So depending on how you're feeling, if that breath's coming quite fast, we can always slow these movements down. If you're feeling okay, we can keep a nice steady pace, gradually building it through the warm up. Get these elbows moving forwards and backwards. Beautiful. And then we're going to see if we can warm these shoulders up a little bit more. So if we need to take the movement smaller and slower, we can do that. Find the range that works for you and see if we can gradually build it. So we're going to take two more circles. Superb. And then we're going to bring it down. We're going to just take a push out. We're going to draw those shoulder blades together as we come back. So we're pushing out and back. So I'm going to show you from this angle. Don't forget that movement backwards. Good. Push away and back. Let's do one more of these. Bring it down and we're going to go back to those little knee lifts. <laughs> I've got like notes coming at me. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no one can see you if you've got to. <laughs> Okay, we're just taking these little knee lifts, bringing it down. All right then, that's really cracked me up. We're going to just take a little step behind us. Ducking, <laughs> taking a little step behind you. Okay, we're just going to take that step behind. We're going to press the heel of that back foot to the floor. We're going to bring it up. We're going to do the same on the other side. So just a little bit of taking that calf muscle to its full range before we go into the main section. And then we're going to take those feet hip width apart. We're going to see if we can just take those little mini squats. Now I've got a chair here just in case you would feel happier doing your squats with a chair. So if you would, Okay, when we have our little break to have some water at the end of the warm up, just go and get yourself a sturdy chair. Just make sure it's secure, maybe put against the wall. Good. Now we're taking these little mini squats and then we're going to come all the way up. Just move those feet. See if we can reach up to the ceiling and bring that arm down nice and gradually. Same with the other arm, reaching up. And bringing that arm down. Good. We're going to reach up. Good. Bring this arm down. And again, so as we're doing this, see if you can draw the shoulder blade down the back towards the bottom. And then we're going to open out that chest. Bring those feet in. We're going to open out that chest again. And bring these feet in. Let's see if we can do that one more time. Just draw those shoulder blades together. Then we're going to bring these arms down. We're going to breathe in. And we're going to breathe out. Good. Bend those knees on the way down. Keep those heels down. Breathing in. Stretch it out. Draw those shoulder blades down the back towards the bottom. And we're going to breathe out. And we're just going to see if we can bring those hands behind you. Just open up that chest and then shake it out. Shake it out. Great stuff, everyone. How are we doing? Are you okay? All right, then. Just remember, we'll all feel better when we've done this session. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of a punch forwards. We're going to punch up. And we're going to punch forwards. Good. Let's try that punch down. And then we're just going to slow it down. Slow it down. We're going to just keep the feet moving if you can. And we're going to reach over that shoulder. You're going to give yourself a pat on the back. Well done. You managed to get yourself up. Mum, she told me she wasn't sure she'd be able to get up in time for this. And we're going to give ourselves a little pat on the back. So well done, Joe. Well done indeed. And then we're going to roll those shoulders. Now, let's just see if we can take the back of the thighs, these muscles to their full range before we get started. So we're just going to gently, gently hold it there for a few seconds. Don't overdo it. Just see if you can just find that gentle, almost that gentle lengthening. And then we're going to bring it back. Good. Let's walk it out. Let's walk it out. Let's go back to those punches. 
Okay, let's see if we can practice some of the exercises we're going to be doing in our circuit. So we've done some mini squats. Let's see if we can take it just to your full range, not quite yet, but gradually. So we're going to take a mini squat. Remember those heels stay on the floor, chest is lifted, knees in line with that big toe. Do you want to push those arms out to help balance? And then pull those arms back, squeeze that bottom on the way back up. Let's try that again. So we're going to come down, squeeze it up, down, squeeze it up. We've got two more, just taking you to that full range, squeezing that bottom at the top and bring it back up. Okay, let's walk it out. We're trying to get a little bit warmer now, ready for that main section. If the squats aren't suiting you today, okay, I'm going to give you an alternative. You keep walking. This is what you're going to do instead of a squat. So you're going to sit down and you're just going to squeeze this thigh muscle here and you're going to lengthen. You're going to do one on each leg when we do the squats, okay? Otherwise, let's just keep moving. Right, we're going to take that punch. We're going to punch down and then we're going to just steady it. Now, we're just going to see if we can take these hamstring curls. So again, if the knees are sore, let's see if we can just make that movement a bit smaller and maybe focus on the arm movement a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to do eight of these. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're going to just gently walk it out. Okay, so let's just see if we can come to this chest press. So when we're doing our wall press, we want to make sure that your nose comes over the top of those fingertips, okay? That the hands aren't too high so you get put into much stress on the shoulders. So we're going to stand nice and tall. We're just going to practice with those hands a little bit further than shoulder width apart. Good. Push away, control it back. Excellent. Now, we have got a movement where we're going to work the triceps a little bit more. And we're going to take a narrow arm and push away, okay? Now, if you don't have a wall or if you're not comfortable, the wrists don't like it, just do this. All right, everybody. Warm-up is complete. Have a little sip of water. Keep those feet moving. We've got a little timer here. We're going to be doing 45 seconds on each exercise. We've got 12 exercises and we're going to repeat them all. Okay, so it'll be 24 exercises in all. If it all gets a little bit too much, you can do everything seated. Okay, we can do tap seated. We can do anything you like. And you actually could find a cool down on my little set of videos and start it earlier, but don't just stop. I do ask of you, don't stop. We do need to cool down at the end. All right then, if you've had your water, if you're ready to go, we're gonna get the timer started now. So, are we ready? I have got some music for this section. So uh, I can see comments, I think, on the site. So if you want me to turn it off, or if you want to use your own, be my guest. It's not really loud. Are we ready? We are going to start our minute with a march on the spot. Are we ready? Good. Let's go. I think we can have slightly louder music. Well, hello. I've got someone here to say. I'm sorry. Do you know what? I've got Thomas Tan trying to uh, tell me something. What's the matter? Can't understand a word he's saying. All right, so we're marching on the spot. 15 seconds to go. Good. Keep that nice long spine. Shoulders relaxed looking beautiful. Okay, now if you want to use your recovery, you've got 15 seconds now. So it might mean you just slow it down, keep the feet moving. Some of you will still be working harder. So it's up to you how much recovery you use. 
Okay, my list has disappeared. I'm not sure what's coming next. I think it's calf raises. So I've got a bit of support here. I'm gonna lift those heels off the floor and slowly down. Good. 45 seconds. Brilliant. Okay, up and down. Good. Up. Just keep calf raising for a moment. And again. Good. And down. Up and down. Three, two, one. Good. Apparently, I'm using up all the internet live streaming. We may have to change the time next time. Tom can't do his schoolwork. Okay. Now, are we ready? Hamstring curls. Oops, bad mum. All right, so we're gonna squeeze these arms behind us, draw those shoulder blades together. Good, now remember, when we're working really hard, you'll know if you're working too hard because your breath will be coming really fast, you might not be able to speak. You should be able to string a sentence together. If you can't, maybe take the arms out, slow it down, make the range of movement smaller. Beautiful. Three, two, one. We're gonna walk it out. Excellent work, guys. Okay. So we all know what's coming next. Well, you don't, I do. <laughs> but we got squats. So we're gonna walk ourselves, hip width apart. Now, remember, if it gets too much, just stop, have a little sit down, gently move your feet, have a sip of water, join us in. Try not to stop and stand and keep your feet still. But good. Now remember, we want to make this more challenging. We can take the arms here. We can hold some dumbbells, okay? That's it. I don't want to make it harder. I like to have my arms there to help me. Good. Only 10 seconds left of this one. You'll be pleased to know. Looking good. And three, two. We can do one more. Just hold it there. Bring it up, walk it out. Good work, everyone. Fantastic. All right. So what's coming next? Bit of coordination needed. We're going to tap in. Tap and in. We're going to add an upright row. Good. So we're going to give those back muscles a little bit of work today. Lots of us have been spending a lot of time on the computer, a lot of time driving. Driving? What do you mean driving? Gardening, I meant to say. Okay, well, you might have been driving. <laughs> Thinking of that video that I got sent by Steve. 18,000 views, was it, Steve? Drive around cardigan during lockdown. Okay, so we're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Excellent. Taking that little tap out to the side. Three, two, one, and let's just keep those feet moving. Great work, everyone. Relax the shoulders. What is coming next? Some strength to the arms. So find that wall. Hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Now, the further those feet are away from the wall, the harder it's going to be. So I'm going to bring mine quite close. Not known for my upper body strength. See if we can lengthen away. That nose coming over the top of the fingertips. Good. Okay. So this isn't about me, this work, guys. I'm going to come and watch and see how you're doing. Looking good. Nice. Wall presses. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left. Down and straight. Good. See if you can keep those shoulders drawn away from the ears. That chin drawn to the back of the neck. Last one, I think. Walk it out. Good work. So if you need to shake your arms out after that, roll the shoulders you can. Okay. What have we got next? 
Something for the heart and lungs. Jacks, half jacks. So we're tapping out to the side so we can make it slower. We can make it faster if you want to work a bit harder. Good. Keep that chest lifted. Try not to stick that bottom out behind you. Okay, like this. See if we can squeeze that bottom. And we can take it, remember, at your pace. Okay, you can also take the arms out if you're finding it a little bit too much. The seated version would be like this. Tap, in, tap. Good. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> Uh, I've got him counting, telling you what's coming next, except he keeps pulling the board and I can't see what's on it. Squats again? No, I think it's a row. Don't worry, everybody. Okay, so we've got no equipment with this one, but what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that we're rowing. Okay, so we're rowing a boat, but we're going to take those palms upwards. We're going to squeeze and brace. Squeeze and release, good. Squeeze and release, squeeze. So this is again, upper back, back of the shoulders, those muscles between the shoulder blades, excellent. If you can, keep those feet moving. If you need to sit down, you can do this seated, okay? Or we could row with the feet still, walk, row. So you just find the thing that works for you. Oh, time for recovery. Walk it out. Great. How are we all doing? I can't hear you. <laughs> all right, what's next? Oh, our cardiovascular backward lunge. So we're going to tap behind us and we can add those arms. So quite a big, powerful move, this one. Quite a big, powerful move. So if it's too much, just take the arms out. We're taking a nice tap behind. Just watch out. If you get some lower back pain or sciatica, maybe make the taps behind a little bit smaller. See if you can use those bottom muscles. Use those arms. You can make a smaller movement with those arms if you feel you need it. Good. Excellent. All right. Cooking on gas. Just make sure you're in control of your workout, that it's not in control of you. And we're going to walk it out. Whew, good work. Now, squat. Now, we can just do the normal squat. We could do sit to stand. But if you're feeling very fruity, we're going to do double time. So, we're going to see if we can come halfway. We're going to take that little pulsing move for five four, three, two, one, we're going to stand up, and uh, five, four, three, two, one, and walk it out, good, down, five, four, so we're going about halfway down in our range, and then we're just making almost a pulsing move, but it's in control, good, now, if you need to stop at any time, you stop. Good. And walk it out. Oh, that's us done. Walk it out. Okay. Two more exercises and we're going to have a minute's break for a little bit of water. Ready. Knee lifts coming up. Let's go. Knee lifts. Great work, everybody. Great work. So we can add that rotation at the waist. So what we're doing is we're not sort of leaning. You can if you want, actually. <laughs> oh. But we're just seeing if we can get that little bit of rotation here. Looking brilliant. Great stuff. Sam the dog's still fast asleep. He hasn't even raised the knee yet. Good. Just goes to show how much I've been doing this stuff. Five seconds to go. Good. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. We're going to have a nice drink of water in a minute. Three, two, one. Okay. So we're looking at a little bit more tricep. We're going to do those narrow arm press ups. You may need to come a little bit closer to the wall. You may need these arms slightly lower. 
We're going to keep that strong core and we're going to lengthen. So you might feel the narrower the hands, the more the back of the arms are working. Okay, lengthen through those arms. Brilliant work. Brilliant work. Good. That's superb, everyone. Okay, again, I'm gonna come and have a little look. See how you're doing. See if you can keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Slide those shoulder blades down the back towards the bottom. You've got how many seconds? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's just walk it out. Slow that walk down a little bit. That was amazing. So we're going to repeat it all, have a little bit of water if you need some, if you need a comfort break, you've got a minute but don't rush, okay, because we're starting off with marching on the spot. Great stuff everyone. Any problems, you just let me know, um, either by the chat on this or by email or by giving me a ring, uh, but you're doing brilliantly. Are you ready for another round is the main thing. Yeah, I thought you would. All right, so just gently keep those feet moving. Let's have a little bit of water. A load of water. All right, that's it. Are we ready? 15 seconds. See, cat? <laughs> seconds. All right, we're gonna go for that march on the spot again. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, oh, hello, Matthew Roebuck. I think you may have just joined us, or maybe you've done something different. I don't know, technology is my strong point. So we're marching on the spot. Good work. Just think, there's a boy downstairs, sacrificing three quarters of an hour schoolwork just so we can go live. Thank you, Thomas. Okay. We're marching on the spot, listening into that breath. Okay, you've got 15 seconds to go, and then we've got our little bit of recovery. So those of you who are joining us maybe a little bit later, we've got 45 seconds on each exercise, 15 seconds recovery. All right, we're in the second set, and let's just recover it out. So next thing, we're gonna go for that calf raise, the raise of the heels, working the calf muscles. So, are you ready? You've got to walk for support if you need it. Off we go, and down. Good, so see if you can control that movement down. See if you can control up onto tiptoe. It's a nice core and balance exercise if you sort of minimize that support. So keep that nice long spine if you can. Excellent. Some of you will be able to maybe come down on one foot, up on both, <laughs> she says. Look at that lean. Okay, good. It's not even the bad one. Good. Up and down, brilliant. That's it, just a couple more. We've got three seconds, two seconds, one second and just walk it out. Good. So if you're starting to feel tired, maybe slow it down a little bit. If you're okay, brilliant. Carry on, but just keep checking in with yourself. You've got that pulsing movement if we want to work harder. Okay. That pulsing movement. Excellent. We can slow it down and we can just use the legs. Use the legs, you're using the legs, but slow it down if it's getting too much. Brilliant work, guys. 10 seconds left to go with these hamstring curls. Good. And remember, just find your pace. See if you can hold it. Three, two, one, let's walk it out. All right, cook it on gas. So, we're gonna go for a squat next. So get those feet into position if you need your chair. Remember, we can use those leg extensions if 
they weren't agreeing with you before. So that's going to work the quads. Are we ready? Good. Our 45 seconds has started. Superb. Keep those knees in line with that second toe. See if you can push your tailbone behind your heels. It's as if you're going to sit down and then really glue those heels to the floor on your way back up, squeeze the bottom muscles. So try not to finish here, finish here. We tend to do this a little bit. Squeeze when you finish, down and squeeze. Good, down and squeeze, down and squeeze. Good, one more for that, and then we're gonna walk it out. Brilliant work, guys. Superb! Okay, what's next? Ah, the upright row with the side tap. So, if you struggle with coordination, let's start with the upright row, squeeze those shoulder blades together, then we're going to add that tap. Good. Some of you will prefer to do this, walking on the spot, that's fine. Good. Really keep that chest lifted, nice strong elbows. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Oh, that's fantastic. 15 seconds, guys. Brilliant. So this is all about negating the effects of the gardening, the endless work on the laptop, the iPads. Three, two, one. And walk it out. How are you feeling? Okay. Good. I think you're doing superbly. All right. It's just great to be back on a Friday morning. Now, are we ready? Wall press coming up. Normal wall press. So hands just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Down. Good. So remember, we can make it more challenging, but you need to lower the arms as well. Okay. Try not to look like I'm doing it, you. Brilliant. Good. So nice and controlled. Slowly down and then control it. So we're really controlling that movement. Superb. I like it. All right. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Did anyone notice I didn't do all the way through? But that's okay because we've got to listen to our bodies. All right, that's brilliant. Okay, our Sam's just raising eyebrow. You may see him. I think you might be able to just see his nose there. All right, I'll stop going on about the dog. It's Jack time. Ooh, we lost a valuable three seconds then. Good. Now. Remember, if these shoulders are sore, you may prefer to do something different. Okay, but with the basis of the movement is the side tap. So, pushing one foot into the floor, side tap. Good. And then we can add arms if we feel comfortable. Good. You don't need to take those arms higher than the shoulders. We don't want to impinge that shoulder joint. Good. All right, so we got four seconds. And three, two, one. Walk it out, guys. Okay, five exercises to go, and then we are going to cool down. You're almost there. All right, it's the row. So, shoulders relaxed, squeeze these shoulder blades together. I'm sure I saw in your message from Rob Worthington then. If you're watching, Rob, hi. I suppose the only problem with this <laughs> is there's no work. I'm hoping you've got someone to have a little chat to while you do these exercises, sir. Good. That's the only thing with at home. So that's why you can talk to me, shower at me. Tell me what you're thinking. Brilliant. See if you can really squeeze these shoulder blades together. Good. Oh, we're cooking on gas. Okay, and we're gonna walk it out. You may wanna roll those shoulders, shake the arms out a little bit. It's a bit of recovery. And then we've got our backward lunge, the aerobic style, taps behind. Off we go. 
Good. So keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Remember, the arm movement really ups the ante with this. So if you're feeling quite fatigued or if your breath is coming quite fast, see if you can slow it down. Even if we slow it down here. Good. We can take it at your pace. You just find the pace that works for you. Excellent. So we've got 10 seconds left on this one. It's amazing how quickly this time is going. Or is it just me? Brilliant. Three, two, one. And let's see if we can just walk it out. Okay, how are we doing everyone? Three exercises to go. We've got those double time squats. Remember, you can do normal squats. You can do the leg extensions. You could just walk it out. So halfway down, we're going to pulse three, two, one, all the way up. So heels are down, halfway down. We're taking a little bit of movement and then coming all the way up. Good. Pulse, two. Keep that chest lifted all the way up. Pulse. Good. I think we're meant to be doing a little walk in between, aren't we? Yeah, but uh, to make it harder, you can take that little walk out if you prefer. Good. All right, 10 seconds to go. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Oh no, three, two, one. Oh no, two, one. Last one. And walk it out. Good work. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just gonna get my breath back. That's better. All right. Knee lifts. Good work. So remember this one as well, if the hips are sore, just take it your level, okay? Your level. So really great to keep those hip flexors strong there. And we'll stretch them out when we do the cool down. Good work. All right. You can add some arm movement if you like, or we can just focus on this real quality of movement. So making these core muscles, these abdominal muscles work as well. So it's good work. Great stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So last station. So we're going to do that narrow arm press up. If this isn't for you, just pick some of the exercises that you did enjoy and we'll go for it. So shoulders relaxed, coming down, lengthening through those arms. Good. So see if you can draw that tummy bun in. Get a bit of core working while you're doing this. So imagine your body is a little bit like a long plank and the only thing moving really is we're bending the elbows and then straightening so that's the only thing that's moving good work everyone just <laughs> don't bash your nose against the wall as i just did and then she says you've got five seconds left and relax okay have a little bit of water, keep your feet moving. That is the end of the main session. Do not switch off because I can see exactly who's watching. Well, not exactly, but I can see that there's a few of you watching and I'll notice if anyone doesn't do the cool down. Okay, because so we need to bring that heart rate back down. So, I'm just gonna turn the music off. I'm not sure if you could even hear it. It's all a bit of a learning curve. So what we're going to do is just bring that heart rate down. So once you've had a little bit of water, just see if we can keep those feet moving. See if you can keep those feet moving. And if you can, let's get a little bit of elbow circling going. Make sure we push that breath out. That was a great session. Well done. Okay. Really good. Really good. Quite nice sort of early morning-ish, but it's still quite cool so that we can just get our formal exercise done and then enjoy the rest of the day. So we're just gonna take a little heel dig, little heel dig, 
and just monitor that breathing. If you do need to sit down, sit down, do keep those feet moving. Great work. Now, while we're doing this, we're gonna make a fist. So we'll do a little bit of hand mobility, wrist strength, and then we're just gonna gently move the feet. Then we're gonna lengthen out those arms, push those palms away from you, stretch through the fingers, and then we're gonna bring it in again. Nice, relaxed shoulders. And we're gonna just stretch out, push into the palms of your hands, and then we're gonna bring it in, relax those shoulders. And then we're gonna push away from center. That's great, that's great. Okay, let's see if we can just take those feet behind us. So we're getting a little bit of a stretch on those hip flexors. So these tend to work quite hard when we're doing things like squats and knee lifts. And I would imagine a lot of you have been doing quite a bit of walking, quite a bit of gardening, and these are probably quite tight. So we'll be quite mindful of that. Quite mindful of that. We're just gonna take the shoulders up to the ears. We're gonna relax those shoulders down. Brilliant. And then we're gonna bring it in. Let's take that little pedal. Just take a bigger step, okay? And once that heel comes down, okay, we're just keeping that chest lifted. Wonderful. And then we're gonna lift that heel, move the feet a little bit, let's change legs, okay? Change legs, good. Nice relaxed shoulders, hips, shoulders square on. I like to have that wall here because it just helps me press that heel down a bit, quite tighten the calf there. And then we're gonna bring it up and we're gonna walk it out, good. Now let's see if we can take those feet hip width apart. Let's do a little stretch with this upper back. So we're just gonna see if we can take these hands in front of us, palms away from center. We're gonna see if we can just tuck this bottom under, just let that chin drop towards the chest and we're gonna just draw the tummy button in and push the palms of the hands away from center. You'll feel that stretch in the upper back and then we're going to bring these hands in. We're going to move the feet a little bit. This time the palms are facing you. We're going to bend those knees, tuck that bottom under again. And this time just push the backs of the hands away from center. You'll get that really nice stretch in the upper back. And then we're going to open out those arms, relax the shoulders, just move those feet gently. And as if you're about to give someone you really miss a big hug, well, I'll pretend it's me. No. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to steady those feet. Now bend those knees, breathe in, reach up, and breathe out. Good. Just slide those shoulder blades down the back with the breathing. And feel, I don't know if anyone else's shoulders are going clonk, 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 but mine are. I could, if, if I had a microphone next to me, we'd be in trouble. Good. And then we're going to come up, breathing. And then we'll just bring those feet to a little bit of a walk on the spot. So nice, relaxed shoulders. See if you can just let those shoulders go, let them soften. So we're going to do the backs of the thighs. So we're going to take a nice, even stance. We're going to see if we can soften the knees a little bit, and then we're going to take one foot in front of you, sink down into that back of the thigh stretch. We're going to breathe out. We're going to breathe in. We're going to breathe out. And then we're going to come all the way up. So if you found that quite challenging for the supporting leg to hold, use a chair. So we're going to go into the other side. So if I'm in the chair, I'm in that front half of the chair, that back is nice and long. And instead of having this leg taking the brunt of that strength, we can just focus on the stretch. So we're doing the other leg, breathing out, and then we'll bring it all the way back up. Let's just move those feet, everyone. Let's move those feet. Good, let's take a little roll of those shoulders. And then let's take those feet shoulder width apart, hip width apart, 
just stable. <laughs> right then, we're going to bring one hand to the opposite shoulder and we're going to hug that arm in. Just let that neck relax, let that head relax and we're going to release. Good, wiggle the toes, move the feet. Let's do the same on the other side. So let that neck relax, let that face relax, breathe out. And we're going to release. Good. And then we'll just move those feet. While we're doing this, we're going to see either walking the hand or reaching over that shoulder. We're going to see if you can give yourselves a pat on the back. I would really like to pat you on the back if we were allowed, because it's been fabulous to have your company today. And we're going to breathe out. Now we're going to breathe in. Can't quite see my hand, but I'll get back a little bit. We're going to draw that tummy button in and we're going to gently, gently lift the rib cage out of the hips as we breathe out. As we breathe in, come back. Let's do the same on the other side. So either walking that hand over or lifting over. First of all, we're stretching out the shoulders and the triceps, breathing out. And then we're going to stretch out the muscles in this trunk. And again, it's all about mindfulness when we're doing this. Be aware of what your body's doing. Don't do it just because you think it's what you should be doing. If the body says no, just modify it or don't do it at all. All right, let's just breathe out, relax those shoulders. And then we're gonna see if we can find something that's gonna support us. So it could be the back of the chair, it could be a wall. Just make sure we're not holding on like that because we need this chest lifted. We're gonna stretch the front of the thighs. So level one, we're gonna do that. We can use this chair to support us if we need. Okay, I'm not sure I showed you that brilliantly. We can hold on to the back of the trouser leg, front of the trainer, back of the trainer. Now lift the chest and see, imagine you're a sad dog, okay? You've got a tail, you're not happy, you're going to push that tail between your legs and that will really help get the most out of this stretch. And then we'll bring it down nice and gently. Let's see if we can do the same on the other side. So I think actually I can show you a little bit better how we can use a raised surface. So we can take that leg up, come into that stretch. Good, so you can feel that muscle there, brilliant. Or however you do it normally, and then we're gonna gently release. Great stuff, everyone, great stuff. So we're gonna take those little taps out and in. We're gonna take that little tap out and we're gonna open those arms and we're gonna see if we can open Open this arm, we're going to follow that arm, that hand with the head, and then we're going to bring it back. See if you can keep those headlights on the hip bone shining straight ahead. We're doing a nice little stretch of that chest, and then we'll bring it down. Good, shake it out. I promised you hip flexors. Hip flexors is what we're going to deliver. So again, you're going to need a bit of support. As if we were going into this calf stretch, but notice, I'm not putting my heel down. I mean, if you're really flexible of calf, you can. We're gonna look straight ahead and then we're gonna bend both knees and you're gonna be that sad dog again. And you'll feel a stretch about here. Okay, so we just got that ball for support, that chair for support. You can go a little bit lower if you need to. You can take that back foot back a bit further and then we're gonna come up, bring it in. Just make sure you don't hold it so long, you can't control the way up. Okay, and the other side. So, that's it. So if we do a lot of sitting down, these are gonna be tight as well. Good work. Thank you, Billy. All right, okay. Excellent. And we're gonna bring it in, bring it up. So we're gonna finish, guys. Make sure you can feel your feet on the floor, feel grounded. See if you can soften the shoulders, soften the face, soften that neck. Just imagine that long spine. Just imagine that those arms are almost weightless, but heavy at the same time. And then I'm gonna draw these arms into a circle. 
And as we push those hands towards the belly, we're gonna breathe out. And we're gonna see if we can make that breath in as the hands come up. Trying too hard, just taking it nice and easy. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's take one more of those. Pushing that breath out through the mouth. And then we'll wiggle those fingers. Give those toes a little shake. Make sure you have a glass of water. A cup of tea will suffice if you need. Thank you very much for joining me. And I think Matthew Roebuck is there somewhere. Woo he would have been here, but we're not allowed. Uh, Dawn Forster too. Woo and um, see you again. Take care, everyone, and thank you for joining. I'll let you know when the next one is. Might need to be uh, not 9.30 when school's going on. Bye. Oh, it's asking me. I'm off. <laughs>